Hey guys, today Mr. Bug here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make barrel extensions for any Nerf Star Wars series gun or Nerf, but it's just, just any Nerf gun of an exposed barrel as so. Uh, just any exposed barrel, and you just want to make a barrel extension. And you can also, I mean, you can look at videos on how to mod the barrel to where it had exposed the barrel. But I just chose this one because it's really easy. It's a really good gun. And I'm also going to show you how to mod it. This is one that I have. My friend has wanted me to mod it because I did so good with his with his cyclone. Anyway, you're like, just like, oh no. Ugh, I need to start. Pew, 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 pew. Oh no. I got to start. I got to snatch someone at a thousand meters. Throw that one aside. Put on a longer barrel. It load it before you put it in the bar before you put the longer barrel on. Shock and ew, 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 you know. Anyway, let's get down to it. Now I have made four barrel extensions for him. The regular barrel. Long barrel, short barrel, short slanted barrel, and long slanted barrel. Obviously, you need the slanted barrel just to look awesome and when you're sniping somebody at a, a thousand meters. Oh, yeah. Anyway, here's the stuff you're going to need. Hammer, which I love. It's my best hammer. It's also my only hammer. A long, a decently long flathead. And just anything you can cut pipes with. Like these. That I borrowed from my grandpa. Take forever to close back up though. They're very noisy. Anyway, you're also going to need PVC. Of course you're going to need more than this. You're going to need something like this. Uh, and I just broke something. Oh well, I'll fix it later. And you're also going to need some sandpaper. Or just something you can like make something smaller with. So basically... All you need to do is you just need a small ring like this one to put on the barrel. And remember, you have to have the two sizes. Like, you know, you need the coupler and the actual pipe. So, basically, it's just like, you just need plumber stuff. Basically, you'll just need to shave down the barrel until you can fit this around it. And then you can simply slide it on. Like that. And I don't know how many darts, so well. Anyway... And then I'm also going to show you how to mod it now. Now I've shown you how to do all that. So basically, as usual, three prongs holding in the air restrictor. Put it in. Start hammering away. Of course, I've already taken it out, obviously. Because that would take like 20 minutes. And my computer's broken. So I can't edit the two videos together right now. Which is why I'm not sh actually showing y'all how to do it. If y'all have been wondering why. Anyway. Now then. So basically... That's about it. But also, if you do want to take this apart to get to the air restrictor, be very careful about the caulking mechanism. Because, uh, it, do it does not like to go back together. The return spring is very difficult. It does not like to stay in. And the actual caulking handle does not like to stay connected to the plunger tube. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's it's like, in my opinion, the easiest barrel extension mod I have ever done. Well, I mean, it takes a while, but it's easy. So, yeah. and it also, I counted, there's exactly eight screws holding this thing together. And there's only four, I mean, six, seven parts on the inside. The muzzle. The plunger chamber, the plunger tube, the spring, the trigger, the catch, and the caulking mechanism. Of course, there's also the shells and this. Basically, the, the tactical real clip deal. Whatever you call that, I forgot. Anyway, y'all have a good time. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And as usual, just... If you want me to give you a shout out to your channel, just let me know. I will do it. I'll be happy to. I love getting shout outs to other people's channels. Just tell me about it, and I'll do it. See you later.